keyhole surgery, you, um, there are many names to the same thing. Uh, some people call it keyhole, uh, some people call it needle hole, some people call it minimally invasive MIS, uh, more commonly known as laparoscopic. They all mean the same thing. Now, um, the surgery is really the same. If you remove an organ, you remove, remove tumour, you remove a tumour. But the excess into that space is the one that is different. So traditionally, we open up a big wound to gain access to the disease. Uh, in keyhole surgery, we can do pretty much the same uh, removal of the disease state uh, with uh, a smaller incision. So when we say keyhole surgery, it's really keyhole surgery. So we, we typically put about three to four incisions holes. The smallest is 0.5 cm. The largest is about 1.2 cm on the patient's abdomen and then we insert our instruments to do the surgery. But a recent branch of keyhole surgery will be single port surgery. Okay, single port surgery, uh, we make one single incision and with specialized instruments, we can do, uh, we can cut out the disease state with just one hole, one small hole in the abdomen. Patients who will benefit most uh, will be patients who are who have a high BMI, uh, who are on the, the obese or, or more massive side, because in such patients, to gain access to an organ, um, the surgical approach or the incision made will be quite formidable. Keyhole surgery allows us to access um, deep cavities in big size patients relatively easy. The second would be patients who are expected or who expects to get back to work fast. Let's take uh, kidney surgery, kidney cancer surgery for example. Uh, the traditional uh, kidney cancer surgery uh, is done with a 20 to 30 centimeter long wound across the abdomen. Uh, the, the, the patient will have to stay in the hospital for one to two weeks and it will not be before uh, a month before the patient can truly uh, go back to the activities of daily living. But with keyhole surgery, instead of uh, one week to two weeks stay in the hospital, uh, most of my patients leave the hospital after two nights. And at the end of the first week, we would see him doing a, a brisk walk or even a light run. And most patients will go back to work after a week of recuperation. And it has re really revolutionized um, the, the way we, we treat cancers especially.